now you have your PLC IO assignment list basically for each output you want to share the start C1 with your PLC programmer in ePlan we have the option here to run the PLC address list and we can actually export now very often you'll see this first message here exactly one CPU has to be selected for the export so technically this means that you have to open your PLC navigator here you can see all the devices we have what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all of them properties global PLC box and under the PLC structure data device tab I will actually assign an RS logix to be my first CPU name now once this is done I can do again the PLC address assignment list and I can create a filter for my CPU equals RS logix and the way this works is very easy you just go and pick up here the CPU indirect you make it equal RS logix and once this filter is activated, right, you can actually see the mapping show up here at the bottom. If, of course, ours logics, if you actually do a mistake, then, of course, nothing shows up down at the bottom there. If I take it away, you can see ours logics. Capital letters are important, so you have to be careful a little bit here when you actually type these in here into the filter. It's very important that you keep the same one so that when you activate it, you still have all your inputs and your outputs and what I'm interested in is actually the function text that is already assigned the start c1 start c2 etc so I'm going to take this filter as I said and now I can export the assignment list this will create a file here a CSV file I will be able to open with my Alan Bradley so here there we go we just generate the file now this file that was generated under the C temp folder, you can now hand over to your PLC programmer under RS Logix, and he will be able to open this file here and he will recognize and we will just do the editing here. You can see we can have all the IO addresses and the start C1 that can be read in and you can actually share this back and forth if you want to because we also have if something has changed the possibility to import it back in to ePlan. So this was basically the PLC feature import export address assignment list and for this you need the PLC module of course.